Hi, I'm here today to talk about another tip for massage. Um, and this one is what I get asked a lot in my practice is, what is a knot? What is that on my back? What is that lump? Well, let's give you a scenario. You're just laying on the table and you're getting a massage and it's just so relaxed and you feel so good and all of a sudden your therapist will hit a spot that hurts. And it's like you wonder what they're doing and what that is and, and I sometimes, if my client is new, I can tell that they're not very comfortable with me pushing on that spot. So I just tell them, do you feel this knot? This is a trigger point or a hypertonic knot or myofascial um, pain. Um, I, what it is, is it is, and there's a lot of studies out on this, and a lot of people don't know for sure what they are, but we do know that they're like metabolic waste. They are muscle spasms in the muscle that, um, that, that, that target a little tissue, part of the tissue. And uh, we, when you feel your massage therapist messing with the, the lump, what we're trying to do is release it. We're trying to get it to either break up into smaller lumps or to rid you of this, of this knot. Um, we're trying to stretch out and elongate the muscles, and we're just trying to soften the tissue and get the fibers to lay like they're supposed to. So nice and neat. So that's what we're doing. And sometimes we can't release them in one one time, and sometimes if they're small, we can. I've often felt um, the, the trigger points released, and my clients have felt it too, and it's a really gratifying feeling for both of us. Um, they're caused by... Um, just a myriad of things. They could be overused. They could be overstretched. You could injure yourself. It could be some stress. But they hurt. And and I notice a lot of my clients have them in the upper back the most, in the traps and the rhomboids in the back of the um, middle of your shoulder blade. And what I do if I'm at home and I'm not getting massage yet, I will take a little tennis ball and I will put it on my back and I will push it up against the wall between the uh, the ball between the, my back and the wall, and I press on it and roll it around a little bit, and I'll feel that trigger point, and I'll just, it will give me some relief to, to work on it, but I just want to warn you not to go too long, because I've done it where I've done it too long, and then you feel bruised and achy, and that's kind of defeating your purpose. So, um, when you're getting a massage and you feel your therapist uh, digging on this part and pushing and prodding and pressing, just take heart. They're just trying to help you get rid of that knot so you can be um, pain free. Um, a lot of mus a lot of doctors don't really know much about the muscle tissue, so they mistake um, trigger points for a lot of other things. But a lot of times your pain is a trigger point, a hypertonic spot, speed bump, whatever you want to call it. But that is my information on trigger points. So if you have any questions, just Give me a, a message on my everybody's needed dot web dot com website. Thank you. Bye bye.